Well, meanwhile, the economy in Colombia is expected to grow at 4.8 percent this year, and the government recently announced a $2.7 billion stimulus package to ensure it, it meets its growth targets. Finance Minister Mauricio Cardenas told me recently that while that goal is attainable, slumping commodity prices and weakness overseas do remain a challenge. We are dependent on a few commodities, particularly oil and coal. So any changes in the international prices are going to have an impact on us. And that's what has happened in the past few months. There has been a decline in oil prices, and that has an impact on our exports. But we are also taking advantage of free trade agreements that we have signed with the United States, for example, with Korea. We're in the process of uh, finishing the congressional ratification of a free trade agreement with the, United, with the uh, European Union. So we have a, you know, a set of free trade agreements that are opening opportunities for us, which are very important. Last year, our exports to the U.S. market grew by 10 percent, right. which is very good. That means that we're diversifying our export base. We have more partners to operate with, and that's essentially the model we're following. What about China as one of your export partners? Are there any strategic plans underway to further that development, that relationship? China is important to Colombia because of its impact on commodity prices. So we have a direct connection with China's success due to the impact that China has on commodity prices, not because of a trade channel, not because we sell a lot to China, but of course through the, um, through the commodity markets. Now what are some of the macroeconomic or global concerns that you think will have the biggest impact on Colombia's growth? There's only so much you can do to control things within your own country. What are some of the big issues that you project as being headwinds towards your growth? Well, the issues that concern us are First, the future of the U.S. economy. Uh, we have a strong interdependence, not just trade, but also capital flows. So we hope that the U.S. economy will continue to recover, that growth rates will continue to increase. We have to be very careful about the unwinding of monetary policies in the United States. Mm -hmm. Once the Federal Reserve starts to step on the brakes, that's very important to us because if they don't do it, in an orderly way, smoothly, then we can have consequences in countries like Colombia. We want that to be a very predictable process. So we want more information. We want more dialogue with the U.S. Um, economic management team, Federal Reserve, Secretary of the Treasury. Um, it's very important. We also uh, are concerned about Europe. Um, right. Europe does not seem to be uh, doing as well as it should. Um, rather than uh, having Europe um, at two different speeds, one the peripheral countries of Europe and the other Germany and France and the UK, it seems to be that Europe uh, is, is becoming contaminated with all the problems and we're very concerned about that. Well, the latest data shows that the U.S. is still Colombia's biggest trading partner, accounting for about 37 percent of trade.